this is Ron Lloyd, the agronomy team at 360 Yield Center. I want to take a really quick look at how to set up our wide drop system for in-season application of nitrogen and other nutrients in corn. We get a lot of questions about how to properly set it up. What I have here today, given the time of year, is a demo stand to try to simulate and show you some things that uh, we're going to recommend to you as you set this up. You know, we know that application of nitrogen near the plant, we've talked a lot about it, we've got a lot of great yield data out there, that we know we can get an increased improvement of yields and nitrogen uptake when we place that nitrogen and nutrients right next to the plant, right above that root mass, compared to traditional systems of putting it out in the middle of the row. This is a, a setup that would simulate, now with our stand, our corn isn't quite 30 inches. Those of you that with, with an acute eye will notice it's about 27 inches, but I think you'll get the point. So this would be how we would set it up for, say, a V6 and beyond application. We get into that V8 to V12 timing. You can see I have it here on the second notch. We've got a little bit of pressure next to that corn plant, and as we go, we're going to get really nice placement. Those plants are sturdy enough at this stage that we're not going to hurt them uh, as we drive through. And we're going to put that nitrogen right on the ground next to the plant. Even if we get a little bit of our UAN solution on that plant, it's really not going to do much to it at this stage. What I want to quickly talk about today is for those younger corn plants below V6. So if you're going out with a side dress toolbar with a wide drop system or even with your self-propelled sprayer, at under V6 corn, there's a few things that we do want to take some caution of. I really have two or three concerns that I just want you to be aware of and think about how you want to set it up. The first one is physical damage. Those small plants have it established, that big root system, and they're smaller and more tender leaves and stalks. So what I want to do is move these wings in, and I'll move them all the way in by just simply pulling this pin out and moving it in all the way and then I'll put the pin back. And I'll do that on both sides. The other thing that we are looking at is one is the physical damage that I mentioned. The other is the root itself. If you're in a sandier or coarser soil, that UAN touching those roots below the soil, if they happen to get to it, could cause some damage. So we want to think about placement from that perspective. And the other thing we want to do and think about is also just the UAN or the fertilizer physically splashing and getting up onto the corn plant. So as I just moved those in, and now we can take a look at the configuration on the ground, you'll see that those hoses are just out about an inch or two. And I would probably lean towards a couple inches away. This is not gonna sacrifice our placement. Even though those roots are small, they're not coming out more than probably about an inch from the side of that plant at that V3, V4, V5 stage. So we're still gonna have that nitrogen within an inch or so of them as it travels down. The roots are gonna be able to intercept it. It's also allowing us to not touch the plant so that we're not gonna put pressure and potentially knock them over. And then the third piece is just that splash. With this kind of placement, we'll have it far enough away from the plant that we won't get splashed. What I would recommend is you set that up um, yourself or have one of your uh, folks you're working with take off uh, down through the field and physically watch it. And you'll be able to tell pretty quickly in 50 to 100 feet if you have it set right. If you do bring the wings all the way in and you're still not satisfied and you still feel like they're too close to the plants, the other thing you can do is take your screwdriver and loosen up these hose barbs and then twist. And so you could twist the orientation of that hose if you need to. So maybe it's even flipped out and, and uh, has a little different orientation so that it's not getting the plan. With that, we appreciate uh, your time and your business. If you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to inquire at www.360yieldcenter.com. Thank you.